Welcome back to your favorite channel Codeban Digest. Today in this video we are going to see a Spring Boot microservice project with MongoDB and MongoDB will be running in Docker containers. Yes friends, we will be showing you how to create a Spring Boot microservices project step by step and connect it with the MongoDB running in Docker container. We will see how to download Docker image of MongoDB, how to run MongoDB in Docker containers, how to do port forwarding, how do you test the database, how do you connect to the database, then we will learn how to create microservices in Spring Boot and then we will do database configuration to connect to MongoDB running in a container. It is going to be very exciting and there is lot to learn in this video. Oh, I'm so excited. So stay tuned till end of the video. So and here is the agenda for today. We will pull the MongoDB image. We will deploy that image. That means we will run that MongoDB image into a container. Then we will connect our Spring Boot microservice application to the MongoDB running in a container. And then we will test our microservices with some get and push commands. Clear? Friends, before we proceed in this video, I want you to subscribe my channel to grow Podvan Digest family. Friends, I am creating a lot of quality contents for you, but I am not getting subscribers. I want you to like, share and subscribe my channel so that I can grow Podvan Digest family. Thank you. Let's start. First, we will pull the MongoDB image and then we will start it. Then we will move to the Spring Boot microservices. So these are some commands that we are going to use. You can make a note of it. Docker pull mongo 6.0.3. What we are seeing here is please pull mongo image. Okay. With, with the tag 6.0.3. Okay. That will pull from our Docker Hub repository to our local repository. Okay. And then we'll run it. Let's do that friends. I have opened my terminal. I'll type that docker pool mongo 6.0.3. Hit this. Yeah, it is done. And let's see docker images. So we can see that mongodb 6.0.3 is available. I also have another image of mongo that is latest. But in this demo, we will be using 6.0.3. Okay, with me. Let Before we start our Docker container with MongoDB, let's understand what we are trying to achieve. I have a host machine. Then in that host machine, I am going to run one MongoDB container. Okay. And in that container, I'll be running our MongoDB application image. Friends, the things to remember is in our run command. Okay. We will give port mapping such that the container 27017 port get mapped to the host port of 28017. We know that MongoDB always run on a default port 27017. So MongoDB is running on 27017 in that container. So from host machine, I want to access it on 28017. Okay, friends. So the container running MongoDB on port 27017, but I will access it in a host machine through 28017. That means my MongoDB compass application will connect to 28017 host port and that mapping host port mapping will take it to the container 27017 port and that's how it will connect. Clear with me? Because our Compass application is running on host machine. So it will be using host machine port and that host machine port is 28017. And this 28017 is mapped to 27017 in the container. Hence the request will finally reach to a DB. We'll do that in command now. Let's start MongoDB now. Okay, okay friend. Now we'll run this image. What is the command we have to run it? Docker run minus D minus p and then we have a port mapping and then image name let's understand this what is minus d minus d is to run this in d attached mode that means it will run this application in the background your docker screen your your console your terminal will not be blocked 
it will run in the background okay and minus p is for the port mapping for host port to container port okay so the application will run in the container at 27017 port but it will be accessible in the host machine on 28017 okay let's run this command and see so let's type docker run minus d minus p 28017 27017 port mapping and then our image that is mongo 6.0.3 let's run this so it said it started how do we check it we have a ps command to see all running containers so we'll say docker ps yes so it says it's running it's up and running and we have this port memory how do we test whether this mongodb up and running so we quickly connect through our compass and see if this is available it is running and it is accessible at 28017 we'll quickly check that now open your compass application that is a gui for mongodb and click on new connection so when you open new connection window this screen will appear and this is the url to connect the mongodb so we are running mongodb on local host and the port default port is 27017 but as i said we have done the port mapping and we will be accessing it 28017 in host machine okay once the url is prepared say connect yes so it seems it is connected we can see what all databases we have okay so we have this three default databases available now friends what we'll do is we'll try to create one database click on create database give a database name code one digest spring boot mongodb demo okay and then collection name give a collection name collection is like a table name in rdbms so you have to give a collection name we are going to store customer information so i will give customer as a collection name and then say create database left hand side you will see our database is created and on inside that we have a customer collection okay let's try inserting a customer here let's insert one document customer having a name as let's say pavan then having age let's say 32 and role value customer okay fine let me insert this yeah so this is got inserted fine okay now we will run our application connect to this database and try accessing this user now let me show you what is my microservice application in spring boot we will connect this application with our mongodb so i have very simple application this is spring boot microservice application i have uh, my rest controller here in this rest controller i have named it customer controller and it is a rest controller so that it is a api and i have created two endpoints here get mapping get endpoints and post mapping that is for post endpoint in get call i'll be passing a name as a path variable and it will get me that customer from my backend database and uh, in post mapping i have add customer method where i'll be passing a customer object as a request body and that will get saved to our backend database i have written few service class that is this is of my service class and we can go to the service class and see so this is service class having a repository instance which is auto wired and using this repository instance we are doing all the operation on databases okay find by name because i want to search customer by name same way i am having another method to insert repository dot insert to add customer now we will see that repository class so this is repository class extending mongodb repository okay and i have a domain object customer which is having name id role and age okay and in this repository i have defined just two methods find by name find by role find by id insert all these are default operation provided by mongo repository i need not to define it here okay with me very simple application now we will add some configuration to connect to database friends if you have 
doubt about how to create this repository, how we'll get a library. So in the pom.xml, we have added this MongoDB dependencies. Do you see this dependency? And because of that, we are able to work with MongoDB libraries. I have created one video on Spring Boot, MongoDB, microservices. If you have not seen that video, please go and see the video. The link is there on your screen. Please click on that link. You will be able to see the complete setup from scratch. In this video, I am covering the container part of it. How can we containerize MongoDB? Okay. So for the basic video, please go and see that video. Here we are connecting it to container MongoDB. Okay, friends. Now what we do is we have to provide a connection string in our application properties so that we connect to our database. So this is my connection string. I have provided a spring.data.mongodb.host that is localhost then port 28017. Remember for our host, we have to provide our host port. We have done the port mapping. So we have taken 28017 and this is my <coughs> database name code one digest a spring boot mongodb demo that we have created just before this from compass application okay with me let me <clears throat> build this code and then we'll run it yes so build is successful now we will run this application and see what happens we'll run this application then we'll test our get endpoint we'll try to get that data just right click on our spring boot application class and click run yeah so our application is started now we'll test it from our postman application let's go to the postman okay so in a postman i have prepared one url with a local host 8081 customers pavan remember that was our endpoint in our rest controller customers name okay so i am calling that let's see if we are getting that data okay yes we got the data whatever we inserted in our mongodb if you see in mongodb we inserted power 32 and value so we got here we got the same data here through our get endpoint now what we'll do is we'll try to add a new customer by calling our post api okay let me do that i am calling localhost 8081 customer save that is our post endpoint if you see here so this is our customer save post endpoint same we are using here in postman now in this i am providing this id name john role employee and age 34 it is just the data to show you a demo now click on send button okay it says 200 that means successfully added the user let's see in the back end if we have the data available now let's refresh yeah so we can see one data one user one customer is inserted here now let's try to pull this newly added you customer through our get contract okay KOHN. yes so we are getting that that means it is working we have pulled the data we have inserted data and then we have pulled data again let's see if we give some random name what happens chris no so we don't get data we get we get empty array that means we don't have a customer with name chris okay and if you see the application log you are seeing all the requests are coming here found one customer with name pavan then adding john then getting john then and so on so our application is successfully connected with the mongodb running in a container if you see our application is running in a container docker ts yes so it is still running and we are able to connect to that container db through 
this port mapping on 28017 with me friends i hope this is clear it is helpful friends if you like this video please give a thumbs up and do share with all your friends and colleagues and do not forget to subscribe my channel to grow kodwan digest family okay friend now let me summarize what we have done in this video so first thing what we did is we pulled the mongodb image from docker hub then we started the mongodb in a container using a port mapping then we connected our spring boot microservice application to mongodb running in a container on host port that is 28017 and then we tested our mic microservices api in a postman right we tested our get and push contracts i hope you like this video and click on the bell icon for the latest video notification and do not forget to subscribe my channel friends please subscribe my channel for more interesting contents thank you friends if you like this video so give a thumbs up click on the bell icon for the latest video notification and subscribe to my channel to grow codebundages family thank you